Washington State has a deep connection with energy. A lot of its smaller towns were founded upon coal mining. It also has a wide variety of energy production. Back in 2018, its greatest was hydro. However, maybe the reliance on this energy source might have been a little less if these two nuclear power plants here at Satsop had ever been completed. These reactors are named WMP3 and WMP5 and were part of the Washington Nuclear Project. Originally, they were meant to be pressurized water reactors. Pressurized water reactors work by some kind of heated core. This heat then gets carried by the pressurized water to a steam generator, which then powers a turbine. These two plants were part of a group of five and were initially planned out in 1968. Construction began in 1977, but due to budget overages, Initiative 394 was passed. I-394 essentially meant that photo approval was required for public power projects. The Washington Nuclear Project then required photo approval. However, it could never get it and all of the power plants were put on hold besides WMP2. WMP2 was finished, but the rest were not. Now you can come see WMP3 and WMP5 here at the Satsalt Business Park. Just try to be respectful and come when there's no business here. These are a real spectacle to see as you don't really get an idea of how giant they are until you're in person. You can even hire them to film it if you have the money. Some of the Transformers have been filmed here. Overall, I think there's still some resentment of the waste of potential and damage to the landscape these things represent. Hydro is better than coal, but WMP3 and WMP5 would have been able to push down the forms of pollutant energy that the state uses even further. Whether you consider these things a waste or a spectacle, there's no denying the sheer size and magnificence they bring to the surrounding landscape. WMP1 and 4 have been bought by private contractors for other power projects. The futures of 3 and 5 are still unknown. Personally, I don't think it makes sense to demolish these. That's a lot of time and money gone down the drain. But that begs the question of what to do with them. And I'm really not the person to ask. I don't know if you can continue construction or there's some other purpose you can have for them. Regardless, I don't think WMP3 and WMP5 are going anywhere anytime soon.